this up. So, I don't know if you can hear me. The camera's a little positioned a little far. It's an absolute gorgeous day here in the city of St. Louis. Uh, sun's out. It's, it's one of those days where you, know, you can just wear a, a coat and uh, feel great. It's not too, you, know, you don't feel too hot, like you're sweating under your, your layers and you're, and, and you're not too cold. Gorgeous day. So, we are downtown and um, doing a petition. Here, let me grab that camera real quick. Give you a pan pan uh, panoramic view. We are outside of City Hall. That is City Hall. And um, we're doing a petition. This is round two of the petition to end the mandatory mask wearing. That's what I got so far. To end the mandatory mask wearing here in the city of St. Louis and social distancing. Um, this is a great location because I got traffic coming this way and this way. There's a lot of foot traffic in St. Louis. I'm also going into every shop um, as I go. I've already hit up uh, 10 shops. I want to talk about um, social distancing real quick. Hold on. Let me put the camera back down hey what's up sir would you like to sign a petition to end the mandatory social distancing and mask wearing in st. Louis So it's not working with the position there. So let's talk about demographics. Um, we're in a different spot than the first time. The first time we were actually in the middle of a medical center, and um, most people said no. They're like, no, I can't do that. Um, this is different. I've got actually more luck down here. Um, some people like are just like, do I feel like um, this is gonna work? Not necessarily. That's not really the point. The point is, is we're, we're having a human effect of, you know, um, getting people to just be aware. You know, like this could resonate with some people that go home, they talk to their wife or girlfriend, and they're like, you know what, man, I'm sick of this this mask wearing. You know, um, and uh, also. You know, we're outside of the uh, uh, city hall, and and you know we're letting them know that there's a uh, you know resistance building to this. Um, I'm gonna be out here picketing. I'm gonna be out here picketing, and um, here in the future, my thing is like, okay, I'm all for I'm all for safety, right? I, I'm not against that, but. Uh, you know this is going on a year now and you can't you can't see the scam going on you know um, I'm not I'm not like Mr. Streets or nothing but take a step back and just look you, you can't see the scam going on let me give you an example <clears throat> they close certain businesses down but they leave some open right so everybody needs food everybody's got to go to a grocery store so what they've done is they've created uh, choke points so everybody's got to go into a grocery store or you know or whatever but you don't see um, a lot of spikes in cases out of grocery stores like you don't you don't hear on the news that 
you know, hey, I went into the grocery store and man, I came out, I got sick. So everybody has has been exposed into going to Walmart or you know or whatever. Um so the virus is already taking its course. It's already swept through, it's done what it's gonna do. You're actually better spreading people out like you know hey you know I went to like this spot here that spot there and that spot here to get food as opposed to everybody going into one spot to get food right so there's no science behind the social distancing or the the closing of particular businesses uh, also the mask wearing the mask has there's no sound science behind it it, for one, it's lowering your you're breathing in you're rebreathing in carbon uh, dioxide, and it's lowering your oxygen levels in your body, which is lowering your immunity. Plus, if you if you if you keep using the same mask, um, you're going to get a bacterial lung infection. I, I you know the times where I've had to work, I've uh, you know I've worn them, and then I could tell like the next day my lungs hurt a little bit. Um, now I I don't wear the mask at all. Um, unless if I have to work or if I actually have to go into a facility but when I go grocery shopping I never wear it nobody says nothing to me nobody has, has said hey sir um, I get into it every time I go into a, sh a business I get into it um, so I'm not not like totally disrespectful but just enough to um, basically state my opinion on this most people agree um, but most people, it's just like, well, we're just trying to fall, you know, we're just trying to be safe and follow it. We ain't really thinking. We're just trying to do what we got to do. And that's all fine. You know, that's why I'm out here um, doing a counter narrative to what the mainstream media is saying. Um, like I said, uh, we're going to get into that later. We're, gonna, uh, we're doing the investigation of mainstream media. It all leads to here, though. Our investigation all leads into here. Um, they're the ones that have taken this newfound power or whatever to use safety to socially engineer us um, and I think there's a larger uh, operation going on and I intend to find out so you know you don't see the scam I mean Amazon Walmart all these places if hey what's up so we had mad success I went to a different, I went around the corner of that city hall and I stood right in the front, um, the front door and stood there and did the petition for about an hour and a half. I'm, I'm heading back now. I'm going to stop at every, uh, business, go inside and out. But yeah, I had a mass success, dude. I got, a, uh, probably 20 signatures. Um, Sam got into it. Here's what I learned: men sign more ready, uh, more easily than women. Now I don't know if that's because men are willing to take more risks or what, but I did notice that men would be more open to signing than women. Um, but yeah, a uh, couple of people were like adamant about wearing a mask. Got into it a little bit, but that's okay. I just basically state, you know, my opinions on that. Um, and then some people are like, what, really for it. The cool thing about property like this, and all up and down this strip here, is that that well, it's the, it's the post office, but that's public property. It's not private property. So I can actually stand on the uh, sidewalk and protest and picket and bullhorn the facility, do stuff like petitions, and they can't say anything about it. Because uh, 